the idea of being self-made is really silly. I remember reading an article by Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Money Mayweather, uh, a couple of years ago, and he talked about how he was a self-made man. And the idea of being self-made is really the is really the idea that you've done everything by yourself. And if you think about it, that's really impossible. So for Floyd, as a boxer, if he's self-made, what do we do with his nutritionist? What do we do with his sparring partner? What do you do with his coach? What do we do with his business partner? It's actually all these people working together to help create the Floyd Mayweather that we know today. And as leaders, it's the same thing. There's no such thing as a self-made leader. And one of the best things that you can do to grow yourself as a leader and grow your leadership influence is really to find a mentor. I was on a leadership trip a couple of years ago, and one of my mentors was on this trip. It was a conference, a leadership conference that I was presenting at. And I, went, I flew to the conference, didn't get a car because the hotel and the conference were at the same place. And I was hungry. Walked across the street from the hotel trying to find something to eat. And I saw a Subway and a couple of burger joints. I wasn't really feeling those, but I was, I was hungry. So I called my mentor and I said, I'm right across the street, I'm grabbing something to eat. Can we chat? Do you have a few moments? And he said, sure, where are you? I told him I'm at Subway, it's a burger joint right next to me. And he says, no, 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 no. We're not doing that at all. Meet me at my car back at the hotel. Now this is the interesting part of the story. To, I walked all the way down the street from the hotel and I looked for restaurants and I didn't find anything that I really liked. So that's how I ended up back at Subway. We met at his car, he has got in his car, he said, what do you want? He said, you want Mexican, you want Olive Garden, you want something nice, fancier. So I picked Olive Garden. We got in his car and as we got in his car and left the hotel, we actually had to travel the same distance that I walked previously. But here's the thing, we traveled that distance much faster. And not only that, not only did we travel that same distance, we surpassed that distance. We went far beyond that distance. So because I was in the car with my mentor, I was able to go much further and much faster than I could travel by myself. And that's what good mentors do. You're trying to do things in life, you're trying to do things in your organization, you're trying to do things in your club, and your ministry, and your family, and you're trying to do it by yourself. Once you link up with a good mentor, someone who's gonna invest time and energy and resources into you, you will find that as a person, as a leader, you'll go, you'll go much further and much faster than you could ever travel by yourself. So the key to good leadership is finding a good mentor.